Ladies and gentlemen, it is a beautiful day here in Phoenix, Arizona, and today I am really excited to show you this Leisure Travel Van Unity that has a ton of awesome stuff done to it. And I've got even better news for you. The owner is actually selling this coach. So let me introduce you to Bob here. Yes, hi, I'm Bob Devers. Tell me a little bit about this coach. What year, make, model, what's? Okay, it's a 2018 Leisure Travel Unity corner bed and I purchased it new, so I'm uh, the uh, sole owner. It was purchased in September of 2017 as a 2018 model. It has uh, just under 18,000 miles on it. It's had the complete 20,000 mile service at about 10,000 miles because I was going to be taking it on a long trip, which I did. And tomorrow I'm taking it uh, and having the second 20,000 mile service done on it. So uh, it's tip top shape and ready to go. Can I ask you why you're selling this coach? You know you've done a lot of really cool stuff and we're gonna talk about that in just a moment, but um, why are you selling the coach? Uh, Andrew, the reason I'm selling it is um, sort of outgrew it. Uh, when I ordered this coach, uh, it was just me and my wife. And since that time, I have a soon to be 20 month old son and it's just a little bit, uh, just a little bit small. So we have ordered a 2020 Newmark New Air and I'm going to um, Napanee, Indiana here late next month to pick it up. I've already started noticing all kinds of just little aftermarket stuff. And I know you've done a ton of stuff to this. Want to uh, tell us a little bit sure. about what you've done? Number one here, just about four or five months ago, I had a complete uh, ceramic uh, coating done on it, which is a permanent wax, which works really, really great. And the nice thing about that is it's easy to keep it clean. It was at a, I went to a trip about four months ago when I was in an RV park and it was low pressure cold water and i had bugs everywhere sprayed the cold water on it the bugs came right off nice nice little feature the other thing that i've done here is i put the clear bra all down through this part limited i didn't put it on the hood and other areas but the areas which are more susceptible to rock chips uh, in addition to that uh, i like plenty of lighting when you're going down the road so i put on an extra set of driving lights or on a separate switch they're high-end LED lights that really put out the light. So if you're pulling into a campsite or driving on a dark country road or uh, on a divided highway where you don't have to worry about oncoming traffic, it really brightens the road out. And in addition, as you can see here, this does not come as even as an, uh, a factory option. So I put both front and rear parking sensors that have both the, the digital readout as well as the, the sound alert that you're uh, approaching an object. In addition, I put on a front camera. So if you're pulling into a place and you want to see what's in front of you, again, like a campsite, that makes it really nice to have a front camera. All integrated into a top of the line Alpine uh, nav system, uh, the nine inch screen and uh, high end sound system and all that sort of thing. thing that I've done that you can't see is the sprinters come with a really cheesy horn. Um, <laughs> they do. Yeah, a really, I have one. I can relate. Yes, okay, I can really, test for that. So I, I put on an uh, electronic air horn, which really sounds great and, you know, safety purposes and other reasons it's nice to have. Nice. Uh, the other thing that I've done, I've had this uh, suspension completely uh, tuned. And uh, everything I've done except the suspension work I had done here in the valley. The suspension tuning was done by uh, Agile Off-Road, which are, they're currently in Santee, California. I had them put on their Fox Shock system, as well as a set of Timbrons. It's like a, a sumo spring. It's a, it's a rubberized uh, spring that uh, Im improves the ride, especially when you're going in and out of uh, driveways where it eliminates a lot of the rocking coupled with the Fox Shock. So the, the, the suspension is custom done. Uh, a performance shop uh, in Scottsdale uh, custom tuned the engine. So I'm running about 20% more torque and horsepower than the, the stock. If some, it does not void the warranty, it can be disconnected in a few minutes. It's a software uh, issue and it really increases your performance, especially if you're fully loaded and you're going up a, uh, an incline, uh, you know, that sort of thing. So on the exterior here, the other thing that, that I've done on the exterior, in addition to this, the ceramic coating, is I had uh, a tent shop in Scottsdale do complete uh, 3M crystalline uh, tinting throughout the coach. Every piece of glass uh, has been tinted, including a limo strip at the top of the windshield, a clear tint on the front windshield, which really helps keep out the heat. The crystalline is, 
as you probably know, Andrew, is very expensive and it's, it's got the best thermal insulation of, of any other tent on the market to my research. Absolutely. So, uh, a couple other things that's not real noticeable is I put uh, chrome uh, uh, extensions on the uh, generator exhaust as well as the exhaust. Done is I put a resonator on the propane generator. Uh, that quiets it down somewhat. On the back, as I mentioned to you, I put additional set of backup lights. Normally you just have one of these little lights that comes on when you're backing up, as you know. So I put on an additional set of backup lights when you uh, engage it in reverse, it automatically comes on and it illuminates really, really well. Uh, in addition, here in the back, as you can see, the four sensors that again, uh, have both a digital readout and, and they make the beeping sound to let you know that you're getting close to an object. Also put on a bully hitch, which uh, serves two purposes. One, if you ever want to tow something, you pull that off and you can tow with it. It's also an additional brake light. And it also gives you some security. If you're uh, backing into something, it's normally gonna hit that before it hits your bumper. On the other side of the coach here, the other thing maybe that's important to note, and, and as far as ride uh, stability and this and that, I think that one of the best things I've done is about seven or 8,000 miles ago, I replaced the 215 Continentals that come stock on this coach with 235 Michelins. So I've got a bigger tire, more rubber on the road, and it increases the ride stability dramatically. Nice. Uh, big improvement for a fairly modest amount of money. Only as we go into the coach, one, I've had uh, a custom upholstery shop carpet this step. This is not something you pick up at Camping World. All right. Uh, I failed to mention too that I had a security system installed and the security system controls the lights as well. Nice. So when I lock it, the lights come on for a short period of time or I can turn them on and off remotely. Wow. All right, and let's, uh, let's step on, step inside here. I've had this cab uh, super insulated, both the floor, the two doors and the ceiling here in the cab have all been super insulated. It's cut down the wind noise and road noise dramatically. And it certainly improves the sound system. The sound system is a top of the line Alpine system. Miscellaneous things I've done that might be of interest. One is I put in extra USBs that are always hot. So if your phone or your iPad is low, you can you know, leave it in your coach while the engine's not running and will charge your device. Other things that I've done, the uh, WeatherTech floor mats. I put in a uh, compass and thermometer, which is kind of nice. If you don't have the navigation system on, or even if you do, it's kind of nice to know which direction that you're going sometimes. Uh, this is your security system that I, I mentioned earlier. Had the whole coach reupholstered. It came stock with this ultra suede. I had it reupholstered and put the perforated vinyl in the center inserts and upgraded the 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 foam to give it a much more comfortable uh ride in my opinion than it came stock perfectly coordinated with the trim of the cab as you can see so all this here is new including the the foam and i've done the same thing throughout uh, for example this is a booth dinette and i left it down which is easier to see this converts to a bed this came with a a real flimsy uh, wood tabletop. So I replaced the, the wood tabletop with this nice Corian uh, piece here and it's perfectly fit, made it slightly larger so it's a more custom fit and you get a little bit more tabletop. Full bull nose edge on it and uh, used uh, real high-end uh, marine grade plywood so it's nice and sturdy. So this comes up and down. Now one of the things that's nice about all of the Unity corner beds is I've got an extra set of, of uh, seat belts. So this is one of the few Unities, uh, I believe the only one, the corner bed, where you can actually have two, two passengers. Otherwise you don't have seat belts. Yeah. All right. And it's particularly good if you've got children or grandchildren that you want to up and eat you up. Otherwise there's no seat belt. In my case, I actually have a, uh, a 20 month old son and his car seat fits there. Oh, very cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a huge, that's huge actually. It is. Yeah. It's the only coach in this product line that really has that. 
one of the few that I'm aware of. Another nice thing, a very nice thing, is uh, this is very simple. Uh, you got privacy shades that come with this, but they're awkward. They don't do a very good job. And so I put this, um, these grapes in. Oh yeah. And they close and it's nice to know that for sure an RV owner yourself. Oh yeah, it just so, seals it off yeah, there. Real quick. If you're in the cab and it's extremely hot, you can close this, which would make your AC, you know, more efficient, of course. And vice versa. If you got the the coach AC on here, you're sealing this off from you know loss of uh, your 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 cooling. Yeah. So that's a nice feature. Uh this came standard with the Jensen sound system. The options that I got was the WineGuard um, Connect 2.0, which gives you a Wi-Fi boost. If you're parking in the uh, Starbucks parking lot, uh, you, you can pick up their Wi-Fi a lot easier than you could if you didn't have it. And if you're going down the highway and uh, your 4G, uh, your, if your signal is weak, it gives you a, a cell phone boost as well. And extra hooks. You can't have too many hooks. <laughs> this only came with one hook here, so I put in a couple extra hooks here and a couple extra, an extra hook over there, an extra hook back here. Uh, so little things that, you know, make it more convenient. The several things about this. One is the mattress that come with it was okay, but uh, I had um, a company here that makes custom mattresses make this custom. So this is a real high end custom mattress all right so anyhow so it's a custom mattress more comfortable and then the nice thing about this the corner well the bad thing about the corner bed is this some can be difficult to make the bed up change the sheets etc well in this case i had this four inch memory foam topper and then i can just put the sheets on the topper oh great and idea it makes, yeah it makes it real real easy right after i got this this started cracking and so it, was, it they came with cheap plywood it's a half inch i replaced this with a three quarter inch marine grade plywood and a cheap little hinge on it, I replaced with full piano hinge. No, so oh, got, that is, that's a real deal piano right. hinge. So it's real solid. Yeah, okay. no, you're not, you're not. No, right. no, no point and, there. And then under here, you got your storage. And I've insulated this as much as possible without restricting air circulating because the water pump's under here. So it quieted down the water pump considerably. In addition to that, I put an accumulator tank on the water pump. I'm sure people in the RV business knows what that is. It has a small reservoir, so if you're using a little bit of water, your water pump uh, doesn't kick on and make the noise. And then here in the uh, the back, what do you have done anything? We're going through this whole coach, and we finally found uh, one area that Bob hasn't completely <laughs> overhauled. Let's go take a look in the bathroom here and see uh, see see what's going on in here so this is a nice size bathroom too this uh, I've, I've got to say this this and I'm, I'm 6'2 so I, I'm, I'm over to north of 6'2 north of 200 pounds so um, it's it's definitely a decent size and I could probably jump in that shower it's got the it's a very nice floor plan where the bed is right here the bathrooms right here just the way this whole floor plan is sectioned off is just awesome and one other thing that i want to point out too that i really was impressed with through this coach is you have this same floor all the way through the coach all the way into the bathroom now in the cockpit area there's some carpet and then he's got the weather tech and it's even the same floor on the slide out as well or underneath the uh the table so really Really nice colors and flooring. I was actually talking to one of my good friends. It's, uh, I would say, an expert in the RV industry. And he was telling me that uh, Leisure Travel Van, the way that they engineered this coach, there's just all kinds of little stuff that Leisure Travel Van did that they're just really, it's a great coach. They have a, uh, a great reputation and it's well-deserved. And they just, the fit and finish and attention to detail is uh, in most people's opinion, far superior to their competition, which is mainly the Winnebago and uh, the Winnebago View. And of course, the Airstream, which is close to $90,000 more money, the Airstream uh, Atlas, as you may know. There is a tremendous demand for it. There's, I understand if you were to order a new one, it would be about 13 months to get it in right now. Uh, in my opinion, it, it, it has the highest quality of anything in this 
price point. And two, the resale value is extraordinarily uh, high compared to other, there's not the depreciation factor. Uh, and that's pretty well documented by the NADA and, and all that sort of thing. Definitely heard that. And while he was explaining that and talking about quality, I just want to point out this cabinet is open here and you know, you can just, you can feel the quality, the hinges, uh, when I open and close this cabinet, uh, really is nice. Is there any way to turn these lights on at all? Um, or? Yeah. Oh yeah. Cool. It probably even looks even better with the, the, uh, the lights on. What well, else is going uh, on in course, this coach? Uh, one good thing, if somebody's interested in a, a unity, there's uh, leisure travel has three really good videos. Uh, a 2017 Leisure Travel Unity Corner Bay is about a 30 minute video. Same thing with the 2018 and the same thing with the 2019. And basically they're all the same except for color schemes. There's really no difference between a 17, 18 and 19 to speak of. In the 2020, they, the uh, Mercedes uh, upgraded their chassis. So there was a change for 2020. I can tell you the, the fuel economy is outstanding. If I drive reasonable, uh, I get about 18, 17, 18 miles a gallon. Uh, I do have a heavy foot. So going down to, uh, in Texas and in, in Idaho and other places where the speed limit is 80, 85, I can, I could drive 80 miles an hour and feel safe because of the suspension upgrades, the tires, and just the stability of the coach in general. It's nice to have your own bed and your own uh, refrigerator and all that sort of thing with what's going on right now. I want to add to you were talking about the Sprinter chassis. I have a Sprinter uh, 2014 Sprinter that I bought new as my detail van and man it is just a bulletproof stable. I've had that van all over the country lugging heavy detail equipment around and I mean just the way it's held up. Um, there's a reason that companies like FedEx run those Sprinter yeah. vans all yeah. over um, yeah. and a lot of million mile Sprinter vans out on yeah. the road to document. Yeah, the coach has, I believe, 17,400 miles on it. It's nothing. So, so nothing. It's really just getting broken in. Probably it's a, a better engine at 20,000 miles than it is at zero miles. That's pretty much well known for people who know anything about diesels. Or RVs for that matter as yes. well. So. Yes, one of the things is uh, coach's setting does more harm than good. So this coach has been driven on a regular basis. Uh, also, I will note that since I've purchased this, this coach, it's always been garaged. And in the last year, it's been in a climate controlled garage. Looking at the paint right away and the sun was even coming down. I mean, it was at the time of day right now where it's exposing everything. And no, it's the paint is really, I, I'm a detail guy. I can attest the paint on this coach is immaculate. Anything else on those 15 things that you can go over? You want to well, double check? It's actually about 25. Let's oh, see 25. Yeah. So, yeah. And so Bob has a list that just to tell you how okay. organized he is here. That's a list of about 25 things of just all the stuff well, he's done and real organized. This is important to some people. I, no pets, no smoking. Uh, my wife and I don't, nobody's ever been in here that smoked. No pets. Uh, I mentioned the security system, which is a the custom um, tuning, which is is nice if you like a little bit more performance. And oh yeah, I did put a new chassis battery on this here about six months ago. So you know, out here in Arizona, batteries only last a couple of years, two or three years. So uh, it was getting kind of weak. So I put a new uh, chassis battery on it, and I actually upgraded it. It's a a little bit more amperage than uh, what came stock with it. Doesn't have. Uh, this coach has pretty much every conceivable upgrade that you can put on it except for two two potential things one is um, a lithium package if someone wanted to go that route they did a lot of dry camping and then the other thing would be uh, you could put in a uh, leveling system an automatic leveling system other than that there's not much else that can be done to this coach nice so these tires are definitely much beefier than the average tires. What what are these rated at? Uh, these are the high speed rated, the much higher both speed and weight uh, load weight rating than the 215 Continentals. Uh, they're also a quieter tire. So these are 235 Michelins. Nice. And uh, it's just a much more solid. Right. Plus it gives you maybe an additional. Uh, maybe close to a half inch of ground clearance. Yeah. Which yeah. is kind of nice of going in and out of campgrounds and uh, you know, oh, I've absolutely. never scraped or going in, going out of inclines into service stations, that sort of thing. He's an audio fight. Uh, 
all that insulation and i mean a lot of insulation went into this cab you can even tell it if you open this door and close this door compared to one that doesn't me, have it it's probably I, I i'll tell you what i've got a sprinter right. so let me i'm gonna vouch for you i'm, I'm putting it to the test man right. i'm gonna i'm gonna be honest with my viewers oh yeah no doubt about it. it's definitely heavier you can just feel it's 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 more of a um he's He's not making this stuff up, ladies and gentlemen. This coach really does have a lot of really cool, unique stuff done to it. See, Bob, I cannot thank you enough for showing myself and all the viewers out on YouTube your awesome leisure travel van. Pretty much all I can say, I'll be posting photos and, um, and more information on uh, RV Trader. I haven't listed it yet. And uh, this is a first step and uh, be available to answer any calls uh, any questions whatsoever concerning this coach? Yeah, well, how can folks get a hold of you if they're serious buyers? Uh, best way is is call me or text me on my cell. I always return my calls. My number is 602-370-0543. Available pretty much any time to, to show it to someone or give them more information about it. Greatly appreciate all of you watching today's video. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.